All right. What's up, everybody? How are we doing this morning? Yes. Can we give it up one more time for the amazing crowd theory? That was, that was pretty sick, no? Yeah? Just nodding in agreement. That's awesome. I like, no, that's fine. We can just do whatever. It's early. It's still good. Uh, guys, you're at Maple Story Fest. How are you feeling, LA? How are we doing? <laughs> Maplers, it's my honor to be the first to say welcome to the second ever Maple Story Fest. My name is Adam Kruger, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to once again be your host for Maple Story Fest 2019. Thank you. Okay, yeah, all right, sure. We'll go with it. I'll take it. Why not? Wow. Guys, we have a really full crowd here today in person, and I bet we've got an even bigger crowd joining us live on Twitch. So hello to all of you watching from home. I wasn't expecting a response. I can't hear them. Totally fine. Did you guys know, by the way, that Maple Story uh, Fest this year sold out, like all the tickets sold out in four minutes? So I just didn't tell you anything new. You all knew that. Yeah, four minutes. Do you know how lucky I am to be hosting right now? Because otherwise I'd be watching from home too. So, so quick show of hands. Uh, how many of you were here at Maple Story Fest last year? Nice. Okay, cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, show of hands. Uh, first year, first year, first time at Maple. Wow. Okay. Welcome to the party, everybody that hasn't been here before. It's a party. We're going to have an amazing time. Some of you didn't raise your hands. That's okay. I know you're conserving your energy, and I get it. It's wise. We've got a lot of things, fun, surprisey things going on today for you all. Who's excited for the surprises? Yeah. It's going to be sick. It's going to be so awesome. I also want to take a moment real quick just to thank some of our Maple Story Fest sponsors for this year, including Soho Bricks, DX Racer, and Corsair. Round of applause for them. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Soho Bricks is preparing the mural that you may have noticed on your way to the main stage, and all of our sponsors have provided amazing giveaways to include in our huge raffle drawing at the end of the event. So make sure that you're here for that, because there's some amazing things going out. So, without further ado, let's start off today's festivities with a presentation on Maple Story 2, shall we? All right. With Maple Story 2's announcement last year at the very first Maple Fest, uh, Maple Story 2 has come a long way. Starting off, let's bring out the dev team who are kind enough to fly all the way out here today to meet you all. This is Director Jang, who's in charge of all things Maple Story 2. Leader Chu and Project Manager Hong. Make some noise for him. Yeah. Thank you for being here with us today. For today's Maple Story 2 session, we have some familiar faces you might have seen or heard from till now as well. Maybe, I don't know. Here's Maple Story 2 community manager Kyrios and producer DS, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for them. Dear Maplers, all right, this is not a blog. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm DS, and one of the producers for Maple Story 2. And you may know me as Lamb Cook from the blogs. <laughs> Hi. I'm grateful to be here as one of the presenters to talk to you about Maple Story 2. I'd like to start today's session by looking back. What has happened since last year till now? We've captured this into one single video for you to watch. Here's Maple Story 2's journey. developers from Korea. I am beyond excited to present MapleStory to you all very soon. Are you all excited for the closed beta on May 9th? My 
favorite thing about MapleStory 2, honestly, is MapleStory 2. There's something for everybody, you know? It's so many things to do. You can literally do everything. My favorite thing about MapleStory 2 is all of the customization that you can do. My favorite thing about MapleStory 2 is how to do the community. Ooh. Customization. Customization. I cannot wait for release. <laughs> Maple Street, or it was, until your bus came late, and your scooter died, and your hairline, your hairline died a while ago. Watching this video makes my heart warm and fuzzy with all the great memories. And I actually see some of the guys who is, you know, sitting in front here, actually in the video as well. It's been a great journey with many ups and downs. And it's safe to say, personally, it has been a very rewarding one for me. When I started working on Maple Street 2, this was before the announcement went out. And I saw so much potential with this project that I wanted to push the boundaries further and further. When the game was announced last year, when I saw the what kind of enthusiastic reaction we got, it really made my heart sing. And when we actually launched, with all our hopes and dreams distilled in it, we just watched it with awe as the game really reached new heights. It was best of times. Yeah. And then it was the worst of times. No, Project New Leaf is an initiative. <laughs> you guys are cutting me here. <laughs> Around the end of last year, we heard so many players wanting the game to feel different, less tedious, more rewarding for the time invested, and above all, their progression to be not wiped by a bad luck. I think we've done our best to fix this at the time with events and experimental features, and those just weren't enough. We had to do something at the fundamental level. That's when our Project New Leaf was born. Project New Leaf is our three-month-long initiative to reassess the game and changing it according to player's desire. We just did our finale update with Project New Leaf, and here's the behind the scenes video of what Project New Leaf meant to us. Remember, above is what our survey result was before we started the project. And by the way, in this video, I actually come out quite often as well. Project New Leaf is an initiative that we're taking from MapleStory 2 to make the game fun again. We realized that we had to actually tackle the core and the philosophy behind it. We need to do this. I thought the MapleStory 2 launch went fairly well. Uh, we had a lot of players coming in and people were really excited. For most games that actually come out, day one, you've got crushed by players, you've got queues and crashes and everything, and we had none of that. I think we actually did really well. I think the good part was that all the prep work that we did before actually went into a really good practice. One of the best moments from official launch was when one of our content creators left us a really awesome comment on Twitter. We had the whole team together collaborating and we brought the game to such a stable state that there was 
not that many issues. The best part of, of launch was the launch itself. Well, the days leading up to the MS2 launch were pretty hectic, but the day of the launch, I kind of enjoyed it because the fruits of our labor were finally coming to fruition. We were able to make some drastic changes before we launched the game. We paid so much attention to the cash shop and we wanted to get rid of the pay to win aspect so much that none of the core issues were fixed. I do feel like the problems that we were noticing and the problems that people were saying were two different things. We started seeing the player responses through Reddit and our official forums and we started seeing more and more complaints about the overall feeling of the game. The first thing that came to our mind was, hey, let's fix the parts that we can fix right now. It might be an event that we're doing, it might be a giveaway we're doing, it might be a new system that we're just temporarily adding. But these ended up becoming band-aids, and yet these weren't really actually addressing the core issue, RNG. The Skybound update for us was a major expansion with a lot of content going into the game, with a new storyline, a whole slew of missions, and a whole slew of dungeons. The only problem though was that this came at the moment when people were feeling a little burnt out with the game. It was glaringly obvious that we had to do something during Skybound Phase 2. Maplers weren't looking for brand new content. They wanted us to focus on fixing the issues of the game. Exactly how do we do it? We take player suggestions and feedback very seriously. The main reasons why we started Project New Leaf was to really give us a solid channel of communication with the players. As part of QA, it's not just finding the bugs. In addition to that, we have our own feedback. And that actually goes to you know, the producers and developers and everything. How could we make it better? How do we improve upon it? Have an internal discussion and present it to devs and see if it's feasible with our service. And sometimes things do change. Dev team and NXA complement each other. We ideate based on the game's design and NXA ideates on user feedback. When these ideas come together, we believe it's a better game. I want to expand it. Uh, not only GNL but also Games Foundation. I want to fix the game's core play. RNG 형태 그 이제 전반적으로 바꾸는 부분이 좀 어렵고요. RNG 부분들을 단순하게 그 수직 때만 바꾸면 되는 것들이 아니라 좀 이렇게 유기적으로 업기 부분들을 많이 고민을 하고 검토를 했었어야 돼서 많이 어려웠던 것 같습니다. We're proud that we attempted to cater to what players want. We wanted to be known that this is only the beginning. But for us to be really proud, our players have to actually like what we did. There's still so much to do, and we'll continue to give our best. We're really trying to make this game better for the players. The farewell fair fight thing actually made dungeons more readily available for the casual player. Added in Trader's Ribbon. Gem upgrade system. Reduced Meso Sync. We're actually addressing all those with Project New Leaf. We're working to actually make everything better for everybody who plays the game. Maple Story 2 has a great team. Everybody here really cares about Maple Story 2 because we love this game. Thanks for listening. It's been a great journey up to now, and I'll see you in game. Hi, I'm back. Personally, it's terrifying to see myself with a video like that. I actually never had a stage presence before because, actually by choice, because I'm a very introverted person who likes to be spending time buried into documents and spreadsheets. And thoughts of standing in front of this large crowd like today probably would have made me faint a couple years ago. And against all the odds, if the starting of this project, premier event, a lot of blogs after I'm actually here talking to you guys. And you may say I'm, thank you. And you may say I'm evolving. And I say this because I actually see Project New Leaf as an evolution of Maple Story 2. To me, Project New Leaf is our evolution as a company to be opening our ears, listening intently, openly communicating, and being transparent when responsive to your passion and make it our passion. With three updates, we above our, what we were able to address. And I take pride in how similar that list is compared to the survey I just showed you before, uh, what we, before we began the Project New Leaf. But with final updates just two weeks ago, we think the game is ready for next leaf. And rest assured, we, if we haven't addressed it yet, you know we will in due time because our ears are always gonna be open from now. 
we heard you loud and clear and really want to distill that, distill that idea and philosophy of Project New Lead for the future content to come. I can give you one example of this right now. We'll have multi-opening feature for the selection boxes by next update. <laughs> See? Yeah, finally, right? And this is just a fraction of what we're doing with a continuation of Project New Leaf, as, the, as this is how we like to operate MapleStory 2. So far, I've talked about our journey up to now. Now it's time for us to reveal what's happen, happening and coming to our ways really soon, our upcoming summer, summer expansion. We've been saying this is big over and over in the blogs and everything that we've been saying, but today's the day we finally show you what we mean. Let's dive in. Who's excited for this? This is our job rank. It's finally coming to every class with this update, Maple Street 2 Awakening Update. Job rank is basically a whole new set of skills you can unlock with this update. These skills will expand your character's power. And of course, how you play the character can now be customized even further and with these new skills and mechanics. And again, this applies to all classes. It's game changer in all aspects. If you're wondering how to get this and getting the next job rank is not gonna be that difficult at all. All characters over level 60 will automatically get the quest you can actually accept. You can simply follow the uh, storyline and you'll actually be unlocking the next job rank really soon. And upon getting the next job rank skills, all classes are presented with two different types of focuses you can specialize. Some of these focuses could be an upgraded version of an existing uh, playstyle, whereas there will be class where a brand new playstyle would be introduced with this. I know everyone would be more curious about details about how each classes are, but we're far from showing all the, that we actually planned for today, so we'll have to move on. But don't worry though, because we have official streams now uh, with our CM Curious to delve into the details upon, uh, that, that's gonna be happening upcoming weeks. We'll answer as many questions at that point as well. At this point, I'll hand off the presentation over to Nime, another producer who couldn't make it here today due to her maternity leave. Let's see our short video of what next topic is.
Hi, my name is Sally. I am also known as Nime to the community. I am one of the Maple Story 2 producers. I'm sorry I'm not able to make it to Maple Fest this year as I have a side project that's due very soon. <laughs> as you can see from this video, I'm very excited to showcase to you a new class called Striker. It is a melee based martial arts class that uses two handed knuckle weapons and will need dexterity to strengthen up. Striker mainly focuses on mastering its punches and kicks and will continue to do so as you awaken. The class seems really straightforward and easy to use. However, you'll later find out that it's one of the most challenging classes we have released. So if you like the challenge, I will recommend trying out a striker. Soon enough, you'll learn that you'll need to move your feet and change your stances in order to deal some serious damage. In addition to the new class, we'll be raising the level cap to 70. Here's a sneak peek of what's expected to come. As you just saw, there will be six new Heart Adventure Dungeons and three new Chaos Raids, including Pink Bean, who will make his debut in MapleStory 2 where you will finally be able to battle him. With new dungeons come new sets of armor and weapons. The Frontier set pays homage to a new faction called the Frontier Foundation, who you will be introduced to when you awaken. The Tide Master set pays homage to Captain Mock, while the Demon Wing set pays homage to the evil succubus Madria. While the epic sets look great, the legendary gear Enigma, Behemoth, and Dark Vanguard are even more stunning and will be the strongest gear in the game. Not only will you be able to get new weapons and armor, you'll also be able to get Lapin Shards in these new dungeons. This system will be later introduced to you by our producer Lamb Cook. Can't wait to see you guys in game! Hey! Yeah, Pink Bin is finally actually coming. <laughs> yeah, I was excited to see that. <laughs> yeah, Pink Bin is an adorable creature that is ready to send our best players to despair with his all this cute tricks. It's actually waiting for you at the end of the Chaos Raids, taunting you with the best weapons available in the game. As Nime mentioned, but are they? If only this was the end of our presentation, there's more. Lapentas, three relics with power over life, space, and time. Three relics that can gather and cleanse the darkness. Or, if used for evil, destroy Maple World and all it holds dear. Venture to the Emerald Prison. 
a realm of life and defend the sea better to reach the source of corruption. Traverse the azure flux, a maze of space where the law of gravity has been broken. Conquer the terminus of time, past, present, or future. A realm where the passage of time flows strangely. Protect Maple World from the Black Shard Nexus by commanding the power of all three Lamentas. Be the hero Maple World deserves. Become the hero Maple World needs. Eye of La Pinta is our actually final piece of the puzzle for the new storyline that delves into the power of the La Pinta and dangers they possess to the Maple world. With it comes its own epic storyline, three challenging four-man dungeons, and one final ten-man raid, all of a caliber above chaos raids. Above is how the new four-man dungeon looks like in the game. As you can tell, these dungeons are themed around their own colors, red, green, and blue. Eye of La Penta is the final stage of the game we're introducing with the Maple Story 2 Awakening. This means this part of the game reserved for the highest achievers. This not only means the minimum gear score, again, not recommended, but minimum, to enter the dungeon will be set above chaos rates, but each Eye of La Penta dungeon will require you to use different legendary sets and La Penta's to tackle. And they will all bring up new challenge to the new level with powerful foes and unique mechanics. Only after clearing three of the Lai of La Penta dungeons, enchanting new gear level, level 60 gears, and upgrading your La Pen shards, you'll be able to ready and tackle your final trial that will be pre we have prepared, 10-man raid Black Shard Nexus. Again, we're actually rebuilding more information about the future content through a regular stream later this month, so don't get daunted by that chart yet. I know it is. And what this means, though, is that we are actually going ahead of the curve this time and adding new challenges to the be faced down the line. And we ex ex actually expect it to be some time until that full 10-player party to be ready to challenge this. You may ask at this point, though, what are we, what are you going to get for clearing all this? Upon clearing Blackshard Nexus, you'll be able to obtain the very first Ascendant gear equipment in the Maple Street 2. It's a Soul Ren gear set. Not only does it look awesome, but it's the strongest gear available in the game by a mile, and it will stay that way for a while. We've talked about all these new powerful gears, but we haven't covered what will happen to existing level 50 gears yet. Don't worry though, all your efforts toward current level 50 legendary gears will not be wasted you will have an option to transfer your current level 50 legendary gears enchants toward the new and more powerful level 60 epic gears. And with the Maple Street 2 Awakening update, Lop and Shards are also a new system that's being added. The easiest way for me to explain this is be that they are new set of universal passive and active boosts, much like skills utilizing the power of the Lapenta with them not only being a vital factor for the prog uh, player's progression, but also a necessary key to enter the Black Shard Nexus. We actually changed this system preemptively based on Project New Leaf Initiative. Guaranteed upgrade rates, no Chaos Onyx, and Onyx Crystal Cost. <laughs> we'll reveal a lot more about this part in the future stream as well. We kept on presenting all this, but we actually didn't reveal the date just yet, right? And that's because I think it's probably one of the biggest surprise. Maple Story 2 Awakening update happens on May 30th, with everything that we just talked about in one update, less than three weeks. And we do have a special treat for everyone who is hearing this news. Our Grand Awakening Wonders, 
Some of you might actually have seen it. This actually got active in the game today morning. You, the Green Awakening Wonders are a specially designed gift package for you to be ready and claimed right now. Just visit playmaple2.com, log in, and claim your gift starting today. First day reward alone is 30-day premium pass, free premium club, and all the items above, red merit, new mount, level 60 package that features level 60 epic gears, and level up potion to level 60. Don't miss this out and claim this at maple2.com to best prepare for Maple Story 2 Awakening updates. This is my final slide, and I usually like to close it with a quick recap of most important things to remember. All this for me boils down to two points. First, we have an awesome update, Maple Story 2 Awakening expansion update happening on May 30th. And second, Claim your reward today to prepare yourself for the update that's coming by visiting playmaple2.com. We're super excited to what is coming down in the pipe. Have I got you excited as well? <laughs> Woo. Thank you, thank you. All right, looking back, it's been through a lot, and we've been having an exciting ride for all of us. And at this point, actually, I'd like to ask our development studio who's visiting for us all the way from Korea to see you guys today and offer you some final words. Here's Maple Story 2 Development Studio Director, Chang. Hi, everyone. He will speak and I'll translate. 저는 이번에 디렉터가 되고 나서 이 자리에 오는 게 처음입니다. This is his first time being here since becoming a director. 이렇게 와서 보니까 많은 분들이 저희 게임을 사랑해 주시고 있음을 다시 한번 느끼게 됩니다. Now being on stage, he feels fortunate to be witnessing the love so many people have for the game in person. 여기 오신 분들을 포함해서 Maple Story 2를 사랑해 주시는 모든 팬분들께 감사드립니다. He'd like to thank all the Maple Story fans, including all of you who made it here today, and for the love and passion for you have for the game. 많은 분들이 사랑해 주신 것을 보면 Maple Story 2는 많은 가능성을 지닌 게임이라고 생각합니다. With all the cheers and energy he's seeing today, he can't but think of how much potential Maple Story 2 has. 그러나 이 게임은 매력적인 점뿐만 아니라 굉장히 아쉬운 점 또한 함께 가지고 있습니다. However, just as charming as Maple Story 2 is, there are parts he feels he can improve so much. 보이는 것과 다르게 너무 하드코어한 요소도 있고 사람들을 실망시키는 요소도 있다고 생각합니다. Unlike how it looks, it includes the game includes elements that are very hardcore. There are also some aspects that may feel underwhelming or disappointing at times. 그런 부분들을 이번 여름을 기점으로 하나하나 고쳐갈 생각입니다. He intends to fix these parts one by one starting this summer. 좋은 게임이 되기 위해 더 많이 노력하겠습니다. We'll always dedicate ourselves and tirelessly work to make Maple Street 2 a better game. 오늘 오신 분들 그리고 방송으로 보시는 분들 예, 메이플 스토리 2를 아껴 주시는 모든 분들께 다시 한번 감사드립니다. He would like to close it by saying thanks to everyone who is here today, Paul who is watching for us through the streams and anyone who loves and supports Maple Story 2. 앞으로 잘 부탁드리면서 이번 여름 업데이트 많은 기대 부탁드립니다. <웃음> One more sentence. <웃음> We really appreciate all the interest in the Maple Street 2 and its upcoming update, Maple Street 2 Awakening, and looking forward to the bright future we'll build together. Thank you, Director Zhang, for being here today. You guys will see him actually more often uh, right next to the next segment in a minute. And that's actually a wrap for me. Thanks for hanging with us through the presentation, and we really appreciate this awesome community we've been blessed with. You guys are really awesome. Before we go, we do have one last video to show you what kind of recession we've received so far in Maple Street 2. And as always, see you in game. The time is now.
Yeah, sweet, huh? We having a good time so far? All right, we've got a special treat for you guys. Who wants to win some prizes? Five of you clapped and three of you raised your hands. So I'm not sure what to do with that exactly, but uh, I'll ask you one more time. Who wants to win some prizes? Uh, shout out to the two who raised their hands again. I like that. That's awesome. It's always fun when that happens. All right, Maplers, please join me right now in welcoming to the stage MapleStory 2's community manager, Kyrios. What's up, Maplers? I hope y'all have been having a great time so far at MapleStory Fest, and I hope everyone at home tuning in is having an awesome time as well. Really, really happy that we're finally able to announce all these big reveals coming to Maple Story 2. And I bet it was a lot more than what y'all expected to. Believe me, I've been reading what everyone's been speculating on under forums, Discord, Reddit. I was, I was just reading through the Twitch chat right now before I came down. Y'all are crazy. Today, we're going to test all of your abilities to recognize notable characters and objects from the game. With the help of our dev team, Members from the audience, we're gonna play some Pictionary for Maple Story 2 Edition. I love Pictionary, I play with my friends all the time, and, and you guys might be surprised how good these artists are. <laughs> so, the way this game works, our devs are gonna have about 30 seconds to draw each of the keywords we set out for them, and contestants will have to correctly identify these pictures by the end of each round to score a point. Once the round's music starts, the drawings will begin. You'll need to have an answer locked in by the time the music ends. And you can write down your answer, keep it hidden from the others until the music stops. Everyone's ready, shows their answers all at once. Play six rounds, and the highest score at eight at three points. Wow, I'm kind of wordy explaining all of that. Also, this is really weird, because like I'm used to sitting in front of a webcam and streaming and having an audience <laughs> so the keywords can be just about anything from the game. What are you playing for, you might ask. Well, Coursera was kind enough to supply us with some gear to dole out to participants. Anyone joining us on the stage will get a headset to bring home from them. Our participants will also get the opportunity to choose any one item from the game style point shop worth 25 style points or less. And our grand prize winner a full Luminaire outfit set in-game, the Neon Hoverboard Epic Air Mount, which, might I add, is tied for the fastest, the RV9000 Epic Ground Mount, Nika and Be Bella figurines signed by the dev team, plus, plus a Corsair for a pearl bundle, including keyboard, headset, and mouse. That's a lot of stuff. I really don't know how you're going to carry it out of here, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll give you a cardboard box. So. Let's select four contestants from the audience. We'll pick out contestants by tossing plushies out. If you catch it, head on over onto the stage. We'll have an usher bring you to... Bring you to the <laughs> staircase over in the corner and they'll help you get down here somehow. <laughs> it's okay if you don't play Maple Story 2. Anyone can participate, but be warned, you're definitely at a disadvantage if you're not at least a little familiar with the game, and I'll be having a member of my team come down to help me out. Detrivents, can we give him a round of applause as he comes on down? So the way this is gonna work is really simple. He's gonna take one of these plushies, he's gonna turn around, and he's just gonna kinda launch it behind him, and someone's gonna catch it. <laughs> Please don't hit the cameraman. I believe in you. Take the first one. <laughs> What's up? Well, uh, first of all, I need to give you something first, because I heard you like to collect young frogs. You're welcome. Thanks. All right. All right, here comes the first one. Let's get some round selection music going. Oh, be careful, guys. 
reliable if someone gets hurt. Please be careful. Let's launch the next one. Here comes the third plushie. Send it up high. Whoa! <laughs> nice! Did you aim for them? Yeah, good job. Last one. Nice catch! Alright, we are having our contestants come on over now. Can we get another round of applause for our veterans? Great job, man! Okay, so we don't have easy stairs up here, so they gotta take a little windy route. They'll be here in just a moment. How are you guys feeling? Fantastic. Alrighty. Just how far is that tunnel? Maybe uh, they got lost? Restroom break? Oh, no, no, I see them. They're almost here. How are they going to get past all this, though? All righty. I'm going to take that away from you. You got other prizes coming your way. Can I get your name and where you're coming from? Uh, my name is Nathan. And I came from Huntington Beach. Hi, sir. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. I have no idea where that is, but thank you. Take a <laughs> seat on the first chair right there. I have no idea where to put these. I guess I'll just hold them. Alrighty, thank you for that. Can I get your name and where you're coming from? I'm Erin. I'm from Boston. Boston? Wow, that's a far trek. Can we get a round of applause? Can you guys hold these for me for now? <laughs> Alrighty, thank you for this. Can I get your name? And do you play Maple Story 2? No, my name is Connor, and yes, I do. Oh, you might have an advantage here. You can take a seat right there. And lastly, your name, and do you play as well? Uh, Kennedy, uh, and I play but I'm still a beginner. That's okay, as long as you're at least a little bit familiar. All right, one moment. Okay, does everyone have a whiteboard and a marker? There you go, buddy. So, we're going to have each of the developers come up one at a time. They're gonna be responsible for two drawings. Remember, once the music starts, you guys are gonna to have to keep an eye. You're gonna be able to see the drawing right here. I'm gonna get out of the way so you don't have to see me, and you need to have an answer by the time that music stops, okay? All right. Let's give a warm welcome to our first artist, Leader Chu. All righty. So, once the music begins, you will start drawing. I'm going to give you a little hint on what you're drawing, but I don't know how to work my own phone, so give me a moment. Alrighty. So, it's going to be that one. Alright, start round one music. We got to get the close up of the drawing on that screen. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, let's see your answers. 
We got slime, slime. It, it, does that say angel slime? What's an angel slime? <laughs> but we did get a rainbow slime answer, and that is the correct answer. So we got one point on the board. Very nice. Alrighty. Uh, now, we didn't actually give you guys anything to like erase these with, so yeah, just use, just use your hands. We're, we're definitely not liable for that. Alrighty, so let's get the second word. It's gonna be that guy. I think I think they might know who that is. Maybe a beginner doesn't know, but eh. all right, round two. Let's get it going. in your answers. What do we got? Papalata. Wait, wait what? Pa, 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 papulus? Papulus. Do we take Papulus as an answer? Point. Clock robot. Yes. You got rainbow slime and then you went for clock robot. I approve. Clock work. Also close but no cigar and pop robot. Do we take that? Oh, I'm getting mixed answers. <laughs> we will we will give you the benefit of the doubt. You'll you'll get the point. You got you got half of the name at least, so I'll, I'll take it. All right, points on the board. Okay, I gotta memorize them because. All right, round of applause for Leader Chu. Very very nice work. We are moving on to round three now. Please welcome project manager Jevin to the podium. All right, let me show you what you are drawing. All righty. Let's get round three started. Let's get lava close, come on. of that. Alrighty guys, what do we got for our answers? We have no idea, rock golem, giant block, and th does that say stone golem or stove golem? Stone golem. It's okay, your, hands, your handwriting is better than mine. Unfortunately, no one got the answer. Does anybody know who that is? That is indeed Viar. That's okay. Scoreboard remains unchanged. It's actually kind of funny because, like, when I when I first thought of this idea, I was like, maybe if the if the developers are really bad at drawing, that'll make it really hard. But it turns out they're actually pretty good at drawing these. And I'm looking at them, and I was like, uh, maybe maybe we should find someone else who draws a little bit, you know, <laughs> a little bit worse. All right, that is okay. We're gonna move on to round four. Remember, this is a best of six. This one's kind of hard. All righty. All right, let's get round four's music going.
Okay, I do admit that if I was in your shoes, I might have a little bit of difficulty with this one. That, that's probably the hardest, the hardest one on this list. I am not confident that you guys know who this is, but I'm willing to look. What do we got? We have literally nothing. Uh, we have Fox Guy, we have Mew, we're gonna get copyrighted for that one, and we have Fox. Um, I mean, Fox, Cat, same thing. That's actually, is it, does anyone have any idea? Actually, I, I'm hearing it, yeah, some of you guys, that is actually Kandura. I mean, it, a version of him. But I, I bet the people watching on Twitch, they, they should know, they play this game like all day. <laughs> All right, scoreboard remains the same, and uh, one more round of applause for Project Manager Jebin. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we have uh, Director Zhang on the podium. One more round of applause for him as well. Welcome him on. <sighs> All righty, guys. <laughs> How are you guys feeling after these rounds? What do you think? Not very confident. Uh, how about you? Tough. Tough, okay. Tough, yeah. You got a rainbow slam in the beginning. That was impressive. I have no idea. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. All righty. Yeah, you guys got this. I trust. We didn't rig this at all. All right. This, this one should be pretty easy, okay? All right. Round five's music. I said that last time. And so <laughs> He is actually a ridiculous artist. I mean, you guys are seeing it. You should know. Hey, this one should have been a giveaway. What do we got? What do we got here? We got Ducky, Ducky, Angry Duck, <laughs> and Ducky. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that, that's, that's too... Uh, we're, we're not going to take Angry Duck because I think Ducky is very specific. And, uh, you know, we already gave you a freebie. So we got two Duckies. And that means at this point... We actually have someone who is in the lead with two points. Oh. And we're on to the last round. And, uh, yeah, this one's actually supposed to be kind of hard. But, again, he draws, like, really well. So I, I don't know if it's going to be a giveaway again. <laughs> All right. I've already... All righty. The last round. Let's get loud, guys. Let's get that music rolling. He drew that in 30 seconds. I know that would take me like an hour. Alrighty. Before you show these answers, do you feel confident? Probably. Probably. That, that, that didn't sound confident. No. No idea. Very. Okay, let's see those answers. Uh, once again, you've, ri you've written nothing. I like that enthusiasm. Pirate King, Pirate, Desert Bandit. Well, I will tell you that that character appears anywhere but a desert, actually. That was, what was it, guys? That was, that is correct, Captain Mox. So, normally we would have, we might have had like a sudden death, but we actually don't have a sudden death because we do have a winner. Great job. So, yeah, good job, everyone. I, I appreciate your, your optimism with your answers. They were, they were good. They were good. Right, guys? Let's get one more round of applause for both our dev team and our contestants. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. For you guys, we are actually, first of all, as the winner, you're also getting these Mika and Bella figurines. And our dev teams, they're going to sign them for you. So you have a little souvenir to bring home with you. Did you guys all get to sign it? Yep. OK, we have a bunch of other stuff for you, but there's no way you're going to be able to carry all this at once. So on your way out, we're going we're gonna to find a way to make this so that someone doesn't try to take it from you <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, this is a really nice key. I use this keyboard at home. It's K95 Platinum Keyboard. It is obnoxiously RGB, perfect for our LaPenta update. Yeah. Again, I, I mean, I don't know if you want to hold these now or if you want us to give them to you on the way out. You have a bag? Do you feel confident in holding them? You have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Do you guys want to get your things now? OK, and they'll take their things now as well. <laughs> you are not going to be able to hold all these. Director Zhang, would you mind handing these off to our winner? Very nice. You guys get head on up now. Thank you very much for joining me for the game. And I had a blast running the event, and I'm looking forward to what's coming next for Maple Story 2. Everybody out there, I hope you guys have a great time. Everybody who's going up the stairs, we will get you your prizes. Don't worry, it wasn't scam. <laughs> uh, and I know that I didn't really get a chance to talk about the game that much, so I will leave you guys a few messages, especially the people that are watching at home. There are a lot of sentiments about the game that I definitely want us to be able to touch upon, but we might not have the answers for you right now. One of the most controversial things, the lock scrolls from Abandoned Mind before and all that kind of stuff, we did not forget them, though we cannot give you an answer right now. We are working on it, <laughs> and we will do something about it. That's one, of the, that's one of the discussions that we've been talking about with the dev team, so I promise you guys, we will have something to everybody who's been asking. And the second thing that I wanted to say is that I know a lot of you guys kind of feel pressured about playing the game uh, on patch day. You won't have to worry about that. A lot of the stuff, we're basically making it so that you'll be able to go into it no pressure. You won't miss out if you can't play it on patch day. You'll be able to enjoy the patch at your own leisure. We heard you guys loud and clear. We're going to keep working on all the things you guys have been talking about. Thank you again for joining me. <laughs> And I hope you all have an amazing Maple Story Fest.